to my matcha in the morning. Ginger, all that good stuff. And it doesn't just say. So good. Now it's gonna be a good day if you wake up and you just start getting stuff done. Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. So I feel like I've been just like putting the vlogs out like crazy lately, but I think it's because I feel good, I feel energized, um, so I'm in a good spot. The, the end of the second trimester so far has been my favorite, so yeah, but I, so it's really early this morning. I went and got my car washed and vacuumed it and like wiped it out and everything. I need to like take some glass cleaner on the inside when I get home. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Um, just like the dog's noses will touch the side of the windows and stuff and there's like stuff on there. So I need to clean that out. <clears throat> so I'm kind of groggy today but it's probably because that's like this is the first time I'm speaking aloud this morning um, so yeah I did all that stuff with my car um, my car was having some issues um, but thankfully I was able to get that fixed and had a really good experience at the car place um, so I picked my car up last night and I just was inspired to like clean it out and get it looking nice I really want to be able to keep it clean um, I think that's like part of the nesting vibes I'm having is like I want to get our cars clean and nice I want to get everything organized even more than it already is in the house um, I'm like I said in previous vlogs I'm trying to get rid of just some of the more toxic products like go through those use them up and buy different things that are you know a little bit safer and I'm just I'm feeling all the nesting vibes right now um, so yeah I have a few things to like show you guys um, in this video I got my baby list box that comes free like after you make an order with your registry on baby list so I'll show you guys what came in that box and I'll also show you um, we ended up getting the up a baby travel system which just so excited about I haven't unboxed it yet we got it a couple days ago we just haven't had time to unbox it and kind of look at everything so I might get a chance to do that today but I definitely want to show you guys that and put it together and we also got some wipes and diapers from one of my husband's co-workers which was just so sweet um, for him to think of us and get us um, diapers and wipes and I was really excited because clearly some thought was put into it because they were like um, some of the diapers and wipes that I would pick myself like that are you know like the mostly water wipes and like the Pampers Pure diapers and those sort of things that's already on my registry so that was really exciting and just so grateful for that and um, yeah I I know that's a long intro but when are my intros not long um, so I'm gonna head home now and um, yeah I will check in with you guys in a little bit okay so it's a little bit later today I'm finally getting a chance to take a break it has been a real day with work um, so I just wanted to like quickly show you guys what I got in my baby list box so this is something that you get if you have a baby list registry and I had um, something purchased off my registry and you're able to qualify for this free box once you buy something on your registry or somebody gifts you something from it from the baby list store so this is what it looks like inside and there's actually a lot of goodies in here so exciting I need to like take all the stuff out and like mess around with it but the first thing on the top is this um, ma'am pacifier I think it says pacifier. I'm gonna open this. It says it's a pacifier. Oh, okay. It's a bottle and a pacifier. So. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> so 
cute. So it's this bottle here and then there is a pacifier inside. It's just a cute little green one. This is so tiny, so cute. This is for um, anti-colic. It's called the Easy Start Anti-Colic and it comes with a comfort pacifier. So that's what it looks like. And there's like an information pamphlet that comes with most of this stuff just to kind of like tell you more about it. But that's cool and good to have like an extra bottle on hand. And then there's another pacifier. This is from Nano Babe. And this is just called the Flexi Passy. So just a little cute one. And it kind of comes with like another informational type of pamphlet. And then next is this little pack of size one diapers by the brand Parasol. And it says clear and dry diapers meet the softest thing next to your baby's skin. So this has, um, I don't know how many diapers are in here. I don't want to open it and see. So there's two little diapers in here just to try out a little sample, but this one has like cats and dogs on it and then leaves. So that's really cute. Then there is this little um, top knot hat. Let me open it up. This is from the brand Monica and Andy. This is so cute, this little hat. And it's made of this nice, stretchy, like cooling cotton material. So super cute. And then there's a little pack of Honest Clean Sensitive Clean Conscious Wipes. And another thing of two little diapers. These are from the brand Kudos. And just these little diapers here. And um, this is actually something that's on my registry. This um, pack of breastfeeding um, breast milk storage bags. So this is just a tiny little pack of two of the storage bags and then two disposable nursing pads. So this is good maybe to throw in your diaper bag if you just wanna have like something in there or maybe toss in your car. You could just have this and it's already packaged up. So that's a good idea. I think a lot of this stuff that makes sense to have like just a little extra something like throw it in your car or um, in your diaper bag. And then there's just like some little samples of things in here. There's a bunch of like um, different ads in here and different coupons and stuff that honestly I'm probably just gonna throw away cause it's a little overwhelming. Um, but there are some little sample sizes. So like this is a baby face and body lotion and then some Aquaphor and another baby lotion. Again, great to just like throw in your car. And then this is um, like a stretch mark lotion, which if it's in this type of thing, I'm probably honestly just gonna toss it because I'm gonna lose it anyway. And then a little tiny sample of this desitin diaper cream that I feel like everybody gets anyway. And one pack of liquid IV. So I've been drinking this actually, the strawberry kind. So I'm just gonna add that to my collection over there. And then there's two more things in here. So this one is a bib by the brand Parker Baby Co. It's just a little bandana bib in like this neutral gray color. And then there's this cute little tan bodysuit from the brand Colored Organics and this is in a newborn size. So cute, really, really soft and feels like really nice material. So that's everything from Babylist Box. Um, I think it's cool to get all this stuff just for like getting something off your registry. And I think the most useful things are probably like the onesie, the bib, the pacifier. And then I really like the idea of just throwing some of this stuff in your diaper bag or in your car just to have as like backups um, or maybe like even under the bathroom sink, stuff like that. So super helpful just to have little backups of things everywhere. <laughs>
guys so today is monday and i think i got a little bit of footage yesterday from when we went to the pumpkin patch which was so much fun we did like a little double date and it was really really nice and we had such a good time um but today i am working from home obviously and i'm taking my lunch break right now so i can go and get a couple groceries so all over the place today trying to do different things i also had to do a bunch of paperwork to submit like maternity claim um for work so i had to do that because they want you to do it once you're in like month seven of pregnancy so at 25 weeks i think that is like it depends on where um things fall but that is when I decided to just go ahead and do all the paperwork for it so I did that this morning and um, <clears throat> got a lot of things wrapped up at work this morning so I am taking my lunch now and getting some groceries I think I'm gonna go to Walmart because um, we have a really nice Walmart here and I just want to see um, more than just the groceries you know maybe have a fun look at some of the different things they have and I know that Walmart has been putting out their Christmas stuff which is just so wild but honestly like after Halloween I usually am like full-on planning and ready for Christmas decor um, but <clears throat> I also have been working on cleaning out our like seasonal decor closet a little bit like just getting rid of some Christmas stuff I know that um god I really need a tripod I just like sit my camera up here um but anyway <clears throat> I am planning on taking a bunch of donations um of like home decor and seasonal decor and stuff um just trying to hold this while I turn <laughs> So yeah, I've been working on I've been working on cleaning out some of my old decor and going through some of my seasonal decor to just kind of weed through things that I just don't really love anymore that I know somebody else could get some use out of. So, I'm planning on taking some donations later this week. And yeah, so I just want to get some things done on my break now and then hopefully just kind of set me up for a good rest of the week. So a very exciting package just got here. I ordered the Nespresso Virtuo, how you say it? Um, I ordered it for Prime Day. And I think this is the same t-shirt I was wearing on the last vlog, but you know what? We're at the point where like a big comfy t-shirt is just like, what's the most comfortable right now and it's still like tight <laughs> in the front um but yeah so i'm gonna put this together and unbox it and everything and i'll show you guys the process but i'm so excited we're getting rid of our Keurig. we've had it for years and years and years and just wanted to do something new and it's gonna be fun and i know we're gonna need all the caffeine we can get um once january hits and we are um, getting no sleep. So, it's a little early Christmas present for us, and if you can hear the air fryer in the background, I'm making some chicken, and I'm just doing like a General So's chicken pack that comes with the sauce and everything, put it in the air fryer, and then I made some sticky white rice. So, I'm about to chow down, I'm so hungry. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can put this together while the chicken is cooking in the next like 10 minutes. stuff is no joke. It doesn't hurt, but it's just a lot of pressure. Ooh, pregnancy 
Disney is wild. <laughs> with like I think um, the capsules I think there's 12 in here here's what all the pods look like they're just so cute and this drawer is actually pretty empty um, I just have like my pregnancy journal and stuff in here which can be moved so maybe we'll use the drawer for the pods or I could get like one of those cute ones that you can pull out that goes under it. I think I might want to do that. Um, so yeah, and then this one also came with the um, like frother. So that's just gonna be really fun. It just really is gonna elevate our coffee game. I just did a decaf and I definitely used like the biggest mug ever because I didn't know how much was going to come out. I don't know what I'm doing, but I used the frother and just a plain decaf. So I don't think this is going to have like a flavor other than just espresso. Um, so I think I'm going to go online and order some different flavored ones and like a little container to put them in. I think I'm going to do that tonight. And yeah, I guess... I'm going to let this cool down a little bit and then I'll try it and see, but I don't know. It's fun to, fun to learn how to do this and try new things. So I just got this wall mount organizer rack in the mail from Amazon and I'm going to put it on this door to our pantry because we have these really like shallow shelves in here and it's just like chaos. Um, so I really want to be able to put like the cans and stuff on the back of this door. And then I also hate that we have like some food items in this um, cabinet. We have like all this stuff, like our protein powders and everything. And then I also have like spices and stuff in here. I really want the cabinets to just be for like dishes and things like that and appliances. So... I want to be able to um, move all the food stuff into the pantry so it just has one location, especially when we're going to have like baby bottles and that type of stuff. We need to set a station for that in here. So I'm just kind of thinking ahead, trying to figure out how to make the pantry more functional. So I think this is really going to help. I think I'm going to be able to put like all the cans and spices and um We'll, we'll kind of see what we end up how we end up organizing it but I'm gonna put this together and hopefully it turns out nice so that was actually pretty easy to put together and you don't have to like screw anything into the door or anything I just had to like connect the little pieces with a screw which really didn't take too long it was pretty easy there are a bunch more shelves I can use but I just wanted to get it lined up properly so I just put the shelf on and then there's like sticky stuff that you put on the back of each of these. So I'm going to do that now and then it'll really be done. I just need to add the shelves on. <laughs> like right now so I just tried to put things that 
were not like glass or anything on here because who knows, it might fall off and break. Um, but tried to put some of the heavier stuff down at the bottom. And then I have, I was able to move all the baking stuff here. And yeah, like have different nuts and dried fruit and like seasonings, mashed potatoes, all the things right here. And I cleared out a ton of room in here, which is awesome because I really want to be able to put all of our supplements in there. And I think I'm gonna leave the spices here. I was able to clear that shelf off though, um, just because I'm always using the spices there because I'll make dinner right here below it and I'm always using these. So I think I'm gonna leave them here. Um, I could always also put this back on the counter if we need some more cabinet space at some point, but yeah really excited with how that turned out now i'm gonna try to organize the rest of the pantry and move all the supplements over here but yeah it's definitely cleared up a ton of space <music> Okay, I think I'm finally gonna sign off on this vlog. It's been probably like a week or more of just different things I've been working on. So hopefully it all flows together um, to some extent, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload this footage, edit it and splice it all together. And then I might start a new vlog tomorrow. Um, we have a lot going on tomorrow and this weekend, different appointments and things. So. I might take you guys along with that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more from me and I will see you guys in the next one.